Shalom. It's five o'clock. It is. We're at the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters. Oh yeah, we are. Drinking Kosher certified malts. Kosher? What? Or kosher. Oh, kosher. Sorry. I don't, no, I, don't I don't know anything. But I do believe you are correct, yes. Mm, perhaps. <laughs> so we are uh, we we've been celebrating all things Israeli. Yep. And uh, as you saw earlier, we also celebrated the fantastic Jewish base guns. Made in Israel. Mm -hmm. They made uh, this lovely contraption here, yeah. bringing do-it-yourself soda to the homemade market. Yeah, I'm into soda. <laughs> ah, yay! The Sabra hummus, fantastic. Bring it on. Yeah, all kinds of great things coming out of Israel, including um, this. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, so. Here's what we're drinking today. This is Israel's first distillery in Tel Aviv. Okay. Milk and honey. Established in 2013 by Mr. and Mrs. Gal and Little Kochstein. Kochstein? I'm sorry, I don't know. I have no idea. High tech professionals and entrepreneurs who decided to make their dream about a world-class Israeli single malt come true. We join forces with the late Dr. Jim Swan, a world-renowned master distiller, who has also consulted several leading distilleries in the world. He served as our professional consultant and guided us throughout the setup process, formulating the recipe, specifying the equipment, and selecting the raw materials. We purchased the most advanced equipment, and we consistently purchased the finest raw materials. Our casks are selected after meticulous screening process with thought and planning for years ahead. Okay. But most importantly, we built the distillery in the heart of Tel Aviv, Ooh. Israel's cultural and culinary hub, a non-stop city on the Mediterranean Sea. Our commercial single malt whiskey will be ready at the end of 2019. So what makes this special? It's the climate. It's the climate there. High temperatures and humidity characterize the Israeli climate during most of the year. This allows our whiskey to mature relatively quickly so that even when it is three or four years old, it feels far more mature and complex than its age, surprising the world's biggest experts. Mm. Not us. Nope. <laughs> Wrong show. <laughs> In addition, Israel is blessed with four different climate zones, providing us with room to experiment. A fascinating playground is available and a variety of whiskey aging possibilities, okay. even outside the distillery's cask room, from mountainous Safed to Muggy Bet Sheen. I apologize for yeah. butchering all these pronunciations. It's not gonna change the flavor, dog. From the hills of Jerusalem to the Negev Desert and the Dead Sea. Damn. Mm. Old, old information. Wow. Some of this stuff has come out. I picked that up many years ago. Many moons. This I first saw on Indiegogo. They crowdfunded this distillery, which is super cool. Todd At didn't the time, get in on the I did floor. not. No, I, I regret that now. Yep. Uh, it's too bad. When they did release their very, very first whiskey, it was limited, 391 bottles. Wow. They sold on auction for roughly 500 pounds each, so oh. did pretty well for themselves. But we got a whole flight here. Yeah. So uh, let's get to it. First. Yeah. New make. We got the new make. Mm -hmm. This was my first new make I've ever had. Yeah, pretty exciting. I like new make. Yeah, uh, it's grown on me, so. We're gonna literally just like, quick notes, quick taste. Yeah, we'll taste bang our through way this. Through. And uh, we'll tell you what our favorite is. My favorite, Ty's favorite, maybe it's the same favorite. Maybe, let's we'll find see. out. So, new make spirit. New make. Clear. Aloe, eucalyptus. Hand sanitizer. Mint for me. <laughs> My unrefined palate. It's a very sweet new make. It is. Flavorful though. Yep. I actually like it. Uh, tastes better than it smells. 
Yes, absolutely. It tastes better than it smells. Cool. So moving on. Moving on. <sighs> that was so intense. We move on to the aged malt spirit, the young single malt. Oh, from what I believe we single read. Single malt spirit. Yeah, single yep. malt spirit. Yep. We read it earlier. You can click the link to go back to that. 12 months old. 12 months old. 12 months of aging. Good. I now, like one thing that we discussed earlier was the legs. Crazy. Very bright. Again, sweet. Yeah, as I said before, it does taste older than 12 months. I would agree. Still yeah. has that youthful, new make feel. Mm -hmm. But that little bit of wood added a little extra oomph. And if it's that's, quite interesting. That's the coloring you're getting from uh, the bourbon and their climate. It's interesting. I like it. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Then we move on to the classic, the single malt. Now it's whiskey. This is whiskey. This is it. Forty-six percent. This went from here. Uh, made a stop along the way here. Last Twelve months, stop, and then it came to here. That's right. Whiskey. Whiskey. <sighs> whiskey. Clear my palate a little bit too. Because it spent enough time in oak. Is that correct? Three years. Alrighty. Something I noticed about the legs is they were very much lingering. Oh yeah, they stayed a while. Yeah, so they were- uh, Legs for days, Jessica Rabbit style. Thin, but lingering tremendously. Quite interesting. Yeah, almost like a skirt. Now, see this one I remember being way more woodsy, oak, bourbon-y now, right? Yeah, light oak, floral, earthy. Uh, they say vanilla. I don't get vanilla on the nose. I'm sad about that. Vanilla on the nose, I wouldn't get it either. Yeah. On the palate, vanilla city for me. Yeah. Yeah, bourbon, silky vanillas. Like, absolutely. Sweetness, vanilla, honey. Yeah. 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 And a touch of spiciness. Almost like a rye, but it's not because this is pure barley. Yeah. Yeah. And we did mention before. Non-chill filtered natural color. Great. Mm. Awesome. I like that. Uh, that's a decent whiskey. Uh, I wouldn't run out and, and buy it immediately, but I'm certainly happy to taste it again. Well, it's a world whiskey, not a yeah. scotch. You yeah. wouldn't grab I'm, it. I'm certainly happy to have an opportunity to taste it, and I'm not disappointed at all. I do mostly go to scotch, but uh, I enjoyed this. It's, it's different, and I like that. Well, we got one more to bang out here. Yeah. Not a whiskey. A digestive. <laughs> a digestive. <laughs> An aperitif. Yeah. This is their uh, herb liqueur, The Roots. You can uh, check the link there to learn more about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like Aquavit. Yeah, I yeah. like the smell actually. Minus the licorice. I'm not a huge fan of licorice. Mm. It is there, but it's not overpowering. But that's herbaceous. Very much so. This is a finisher. Yeah. I, uh, I enjoy it. I really Festivus. do. I really do. Um, so what was your favorite, Josh? Oh, you know, um, I think I would have to go with the 12 month old. Yeah? Yeah. I think that was my favorite. Interesting. Just because the new make, I mean, it's new make. I like to see what the new wood make, does. Different. Right? For, it's yeah, my first. It's like very, said. very different. Um, this one uh, surprised me a little because of the extreme youthfulness, but still flavors was managed to extract from the wood in just a short time. And those lingering legs. Yeah, this one was a little too soft for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was vanilla city, bourbon city, and I didn't get much of the wine cast. No. This. Um, well, this is a liqueur. That is not for you. No. Mm. No, I would I would say this one wins the like day. The, like the new make, interesting. Yep, how about you? Um, what are your thoughts? I actually like classic. Classic uh, better? I'm, uh, I know they've got more coming out. Like they said, they're gonna be doing a whole bunch of different experiments. I know they've got a sherry cask finish that uh, will be available here in Canada. Okay. Very soon, and I'm excited for that. Yeah, so I'm gonna pick one of those up. I would be interested um, to, to try that as well. 
Yo, we will. We will yeah. continue on the journey with Milk and Honey. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, I like that. And I know you're not a fan, but I do like this uh, Roots Herbal Liqueur. Nice. I think that's going to go real nice with a uh, smoky Maduro cigar. Uh, I would definitely that. try that. Mm. Yeah, I could be into something like that. And give I that think. a try and uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, yeah that's sure. it. So it uh, muzzle tough Milk and Honey and happy Hanukkah to everybody. I hope Absolutely. you had a, a great holiday. And uh, yeah, well... I'm going to pick this up and go with that. Yep. I'm going to so, go with this one. Cheers, cheers Josh. Cheers, Cheers, heathens, and cheers, milk and honey. Milk and honey. Well done, and, and yep. uh, good luck on your journey. Mm. Mm.